More light has been shared on the meeting between the River State Governor Nason Wiki and 2023 presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party PDP, Atiku Abubakar, in London last week. The meeting was attended by Governors Okezi Ikbezu, Samuel Otom, Shei Makinde, who are allies of Wiki, and Amadou Fintiri, an ally of the former Vice President. Politics Nigeria earlier reported that both men have been at loggerheads ever since the party's presidential primaries a few months ago. The rift became wider after Atiku chose Delta State Governor Ifan Yoko as running mate against the recommendation of a committee set up to choose the vice presidential candidate of the party. The committee had selected Wiki. However, reconciliatory moves are in high gear. And this newspaper has reliably gathered that Wike and his allies made six solid demands from Atiku in order to support him in 2023. The demands include, one, the immediate removal of Senator Iocha Ayu as national chairman of the party. Two, alteration of the North-dominated National Working Committee, NWC, of the party. Three, that Atiku put in writing his commitment to serve for only one term if he wins to pave way for power shift to the South. Four, demanded to produce the new PDP national chairman from the Southwest Zone. Five, demanded to produce the Senate president, principal officers of the National Assembly and key ministers if the PDP wins. Six, nominate a director general for the Atiku campaign organization. A reliable source disclosed to this newspaper that Atiku allegedly told Wiki that he would consider their demands and get back to them within two weeks. It was also learned that Wiki met with Tinubu and the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Peter Obi, who are both lobbying the river's strongman. Speaking on the meeting after his return from London on Friday, Wiki said, I can confirm that this is the first time as a team that were meeting with presidential candidates. For whatever it's worth, consultations is ongoing. Whatever we are talking about is for the interest of Nigeria and Nigerians. It is not parochial and tied to one person or group of persons. We believe that with what is going on, it will be for the interest of Nigerians at the end of the day. We can decry the situation where standard training and competence had always been traded for mediocrity. He said leadership should not be about one individual and the interest of his family, but about the collective interest of everybody. Consultations is still ongoing, never mind some people who do not believe in the existence of this country. So finally, it's all in the open. Um, it's not news that um, Naysom Wike uh, met with uh, um, um, candidates from the two major political parties, the People's Democratic Party, his own party, and the All Progressive Congress, um, APC, Bola Ahmed, Tinubu. And we all know that uh, there's been um, some differences between um, Wiki and Atiko Abubakar. Wiki has been sending signals that um, he wasn't going to support the PDP presidential candidate. He didn't say it categorically, but we know all of his body language and everything he's been doing. He went to meet um, with an um, APC governorship candidate, and it was even after that meeting that um, one of the chieftains of the party said Wiki was going to be supporting their party and their candidate. That Wiki doesn't necessarily need to leave his party to support APC. With all of that, um, Atiku Abubakar hurriedly went to the United Kingdom, and this meeting was held. And Wiki listed six terms six conditions he listed six solid demands that need to be met for uh obviously for him to give his support because they know that if this is this issue is swept under the carpet wiki will not support the uh, pdp's presidential candidate even belonging to the party he will not support they need um his support a lot of governors are loyal to him, PDP governor, so we know he's got a lot of supporters. Despite uh, the fact that um, some persons have uh, um, insisted that Rivers PDP doesn't belong to Naysom Wiki, 
irrespective of that, um, we can't deny that Nays on Wiki um, has got a lot of um, popularity. He can be termed a heavyweight within the party. He's got a lot of influence within the party. I believe that is why Atiku saw it that I cannot ignore this person. Maybe at the uh, initially at the initial stage he thought he could ignore Nays on Wiki, but with all of the signals he started getting, probably advice people started advising him that. Uh, you need to um, straighten things out. If not, um, if the party is divided, you will get you will not get full support. It's half vote you are going to get, and that will not help you at the poll. Um, Wiki is still maintaining the removal of Senator Yocha. Are you that that one has been backed up by um, the BOT, the Board of Trustee um, Chairman? We know Jibrim stated that it would be unfair for PDPs. Presidential candidate, that's if he wins president, and also Iocha IU national chairman and himself as the board of trustee chairman to all come from the north. That it would be unfair. That is, it's not fair. And he's saying the truth. Nathan Wiki is asking for the immediate removal of Iocha and uh, he's demanding some other things. Demanding, put, <laughs> he's putting Atiku Abubakar in the tight corner that Atiku has to put in writing commitment to serve for only one term that one is interesting i don't know if atiku is going to do that that if he eventually wins he should do just one term and pave way for power to shift to the south you know another uh of wiki's grievance is that after the party zone not they didn't even zone they threw the ticket open they jettisoned the zoning that there's nothing like zoning no zoning the ticket is open to both north and south meanwhile we know that this is the turn of the south and it's possible that's one of the reasons he wants Yocha because he believed that uh, Yocha played some games there uh, for throwing the ticket open to all of the zones. That didn't sit well to him, even at the start, even before the primaries uh, happened and Atiku emerged winner. Well, will Atiku Abubakar uh, uh, meet all of these demands? The report says that Atiku has um, promised to do as much as he can, but they are going to hear from him. Um, in two weeks time they should give him some time to think about it and he will come back in two weeks time we'll wait and see how all of this plays out interesting the 2023 um, general election is going to be interesting indeed but what is very clear and obvious right now is that uh, these politicians um, is all about personal interest what they stand to gain well leave us your own thoughts thank you once again for staying tuned and please don't forget to like share and to subscribe so, like come your way again with more updates Bye.